What's going on everyone? So this week we've got Chilled Zenkai, which is coming out, yeah, probably this week. Um, we all knew Chilled was getting the Zenkai soon because in the latest V-Jump, they did actually show, <laughs> pretty sure it was just Chilled, the Zenkai, and that was it. Oh, and I think they showed like the PvP changes, but yeah, it was pretty old at this point. But um, it is good that Chilled's getting a Zenkai, you know, LOE definitely needed it. I don't, I, it's hard to say how good he's going to be to see his full kit. There's really one thing I don't like about it is, he's just got, unlike all his uniques give all allies 70% damage to, the yeah, damage inflicted, whatever. And battle starts if barred up, and then it's got like, that nut, that tag number. But the thing I don't like about it is, it's just for the blue Super Saiyan Bardock, which, it is good because, he is pretty good, that Bardock. But the thing I don't like about it, it's just that one. So like, how good is he going to be without that Bardock on the rotation level on the, on the team? It's just, it's very weird and he has to be a battle member. So I don't know if that means that Bardock has to be on the team or has to be, like actually playing. I'm, I'm assuming it means just party as well. Because like, most people just use it for a bench unit now. And then he's in quite a bit of buff characters that are both purple and ninja of evil. So, it is very good Ninja of evil finally getting another boost. They, I don't even know when the last one was that they've got. But I just don't like how they've restricted it just to that Bardock. I think it should be all Bardocks if, you know, because what, you, oh, well they got the new LF one so they could, they should have had it for that as well. Even though the new LF one isn't that good. But a lot of people are starting to use him now because he's new and he's, uh, his LF looks amazing. But for them just to limit it to this Bardock, and that's and 70% damage is pretty high as well. Um, but we'll go in game, have a look at what other purple Ninja V will be buffing as well. Uh, so I got the Ninja V uh, tag pulled up here. As you can see, it's very minimal like with all the units they got. Oh, he's gonna be a okay. So then, two of these uh, Zenkai's gonna be a buff for him as well. That's very interesting. Yeah, see, the Ninja Vivo probably. St I don't know if he'd still be able to run it even with the new shield, by the new two Zenkai. Because like, really, if you're running a purple like purple unit, you're gonna run that freezer like the, the Legend of the Blue one, and like the purple one. I guess you could run the purple cooler. And that, that's pretty much it, really. So it's not, not really going to be the best. I mean, what's his stats now as well? It's pre pretty low on stats. So I'm guessing you'll get a huge buff from that as well. But yeah, I, I don't think... He's definitely a good Zenkai, but... To be honest, if I was going to give it to anyone... I'll probably give it to this Freezer here, this Golden Freezer, I think he deserves one. He definitely did pretty good. Yeah, I, I don't know, it, it's like, they definitely need the buff, I'm happy that they're getting the Zenkai, but is Shield really going to help out the team that much? Who knows at this point, we have to wait till tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow, there should be a, we should have a maintenance thing in the news here. Yeah, okay, so tomorrow. Anything else? Yeah, the shop, I don't, the shop doesn't mean anything. We won't get another new unit now. Um, but yeah, so that's today's video, guys. Let me know what you think about if you think this is a good Zenkai or not. Or if you could pick any other Linear Vivo character that you reckon actually deserves it more or you're happy with it. Let me know in the comments. But um, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.